Hello, you are welcome to Sunyaze. Sunyaze is an educational tech company dedicated to providing educational content to students. So we focus on students in the junior high school, senior high school, and those in the tertiary level. We provide them content, we explain to them everything they learn in school, so they don't need any private teacher. With our platform, you get access to content free. My name is Evans. I'm a graduate from the University of Cape Coast, where I hold a BSc degree in mathematics with business. After my first degree, I taught in school for some time where I help students in mathematics. I taught it why to come together with colleagues and friends to create a platform to help students who are not in my class so that they also get to learn from the insights I have. So at Sunyaze, I help students in mathematics both at the junior high school and the senior high school come with ease with their topics and the things that they learn in class. On our platform, we also have a lot of amazing teachers some who have master's degree, some who have PhD, those who are experienced teachers that can help you with your academic work. So make sure you, you stay glued to our platform so that we help you become a better student and have access to a lot of educational content to help you in your academic journey. Now we are going to look at the solution to the question two. The A says that factorize the expression 5ay minus by plus 15a minus 3b. So this question is about factorization. So in factorization, what we do is that you look for the common term among the expression and then you bring it out. So the first expression is 5ay, and the second expression is by. So we look at these two expressions, which variables that are common among them. We realize that there's y here, and there's y here. So we factorize the y out, and then we bring our brackets. In the first expression, we have 5ay. So after we brought the y out, we'll be left with 5a. The second expression, we brought y out, so we'll be left with b. Plus, and then we look at the second expression. We look at the common term among them. There's a here, and there's no a here. There's b here, and there's no b here. So the common term among them is 3. You factorize 3 here. 3 goes into 15 5 times. So you'll be left with 5a minus b. So you realize that the expression within this bracket and the expression within this bracket are the same. So you pick one of them. So this will give us 5a minus b and then you group the expression outside the brackets so this will also give us y plus 3 so with this we've been able to factorize the expression so b says that solve 6 divided by 4p minus 1 equals to 4 divided by 3 into bracket p plus 4. When you have a question like this, we apply what we call cross multiplication, which means that the number here or the numerator on the left hand side is going to multiply the denominator on the right hand side. And the denominator of the left hand side is going to multiply the numerator at the right hand side so this is going to give us 6 multiplied by this which is going to give us 3 p plus 4 p plus 4 equals to then this is also going to multiply this so 4 into brackets 4 p minus 1 bracket close so 6 times 3 is going to give us 18 into brackets p 
plus 4 equals to 4. 4 multiplying this 4 times this. So the 4 will multiply this. At the same time, multiply the 1 here. So 4 times 4p will give us 16p. Minus 4 times 1 will give us what? 4. So we are going to use the, the numbers outside the brackets to multiply the ones inside the bracket. So 18 times this will give us 18p plus 18 times 4. So we do it here. This times this will give us 32. So 2 remainder remainder 3. This times this will give us 4 plus this will give us 7. So which is 72. So we have our 72 here. It's equals to 16p minus 4. After that, we group like terms. So we, we bring this one here, which will give us 18p minus 16p equals to negative 4 minus 72. So this is going to give us 18p minus 16p is going to give us 2p is equals to negative 76. Then we divide both sides by 2. So this divided by 2 and this divided by 2. So this will cancel this. 2 goes into 76. You know at the junior high school you are not allowed to use calculator. So normally for you to have your division very quick, there's this method I always teach my students to apply. You know that 76 is the same as 70 plus 6. 2 goes into 70 35 times and 2 goes into 3, 2 goes into 6 3 times. So this will give you what? 38, which means that 2 goes into 76, 38. So we have our P is equals to negative 38. So now we are done with question 2B. Let's move to question C. So now we are going to look at solution to the C. The question says that AC and Kofi shared an amount of 21,000 Ghana CD in the ratio of 2 is to 5 respectively. How much did Kofi receive than AC? So this is a question that will lead to ratio and proportion. So first of all, you need to identify which ratio goes to who. We realize that they said AC and Kofi. AC's name came first. So which means that the 2 is to be given to AC and then the 5 is to be given to what? Kofi. So before we begin, we find what we call the total ratio. So the total ratio is equals to 2 plus 5, which will give us 7. The question wants us to find how much Kofi received than AC. So first of all, we need to go ahead and find what Kofi received and how much AC also received and then we strike the difference between them. So let's find the amount AC received. So AC's amount is equal to. So AC's amount will be AC's ratio divided by total ratio times the amount that was given. So we know that AC's ratio because AC's name came first. So the AC's ratio is two divided by the total ratio, which is 7, times the amount that was given to them, which is 21,000. So 7 goes into itself 1 and goes into 21 3 times. So this will give us 2 times 3,000. 
and this will give us 6,000 Ghana CD. Remember to bring your currency sign because it's talking about money. Now let's look at the amount Kofi received. There are two methods in finding the amount Kofi received. You can go through this same method to find the amount Kofi received or you can subtract AC's amount from the total amount because there are two people sharing one thing. If one person receives this, it means that the rest goes to this person. So to find Kofi's amount, Kofi's amount is equal to the total amount, which is 21,000 minus the amount AC received, which is 6,000. So 21,000 minus 6,000. So it means that 21,000 minus 6,000 is 15,000. But the question is actually not asking for the amount AC received or the amount Kofi received. The question says that how much did Kofi receive than AC? Now AC received 6,000 and Kofi received 15,000. So we want to know the amount Kofi got more than. So to do that, we subtract AC's amount from Kofi's amount. So this will give us 15,000 minus 6,000. And this will give us 9,000. So which means that Kofi received 9,000 more than AC. So now we are done with question two. Thank you for watching our videos and I hope you learned a lot. But before you go, make sure if you have not subscribed, you subscribe and then hit the notification so that anytime we share a new video, you get to have access to them. You can also follow us on our social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. They are all at Suyade. The spelling is S-U-A-D-Z-E. Or you can also log on to our website at www.suyade.com and you get amazing resources for your educational journey.